Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to my first Mario Maker contest and this video is for explaining the rules and how to submit your level and the deadline and yada yada yada. All of the rules, all of the things you have to do. This video will, I will attempt to make everything as clear as I can make them be. Uh, sorry if it's not clear enough for you even after this video ends. Anyway, I have an example level right here, Contest Land 1-1. I made it a while ago, only took me like half an hour. It's an example of what the limits of the level can be. See, y'all see the limits down there, S to G? That's how long your level can be. You can make it shorter if you want, like so. But the, the way it is right now, it's as long as it can be. If you want to be a nefarious or want to get away with it being just a smidge longer feel free to try but if we find out or if it's too long it's disqualified and we're not even going to bother checking it out also uh, this example only goes up to uh, the middle line like you can see right here this is uh, if there's there are no blocks above this line right here we're trying to make it right here anything above here if you put something above here, the screen starts, like, scrolling vertically, you know? If I can just... Damn it, it's not working. <laughs> like this. See, it's scrolling vertically. That's fine. In, the, in my example level, I didn't do that, because I, I felt like making it really, really short. But it's fine if it scrolls vertically. But if you don't want it to scroll vertically, you don't put any blocks above this line up there specifically. Although, funny trick... If you do somehow manage to get above the uh, like a limit of a non-vertical level, despite the fact that you tried to not make it vertical, it's actually interesting that the the screen will scroll up a bit just for you anyway. It's kind of cool that way, in fact. Anyway, so this, the level can only be this small. You can have a sub level, but it can only be one square big. Um. I guess, no, no, you know what, it's only one square big, unlike the uh, overworld, this one cannot scroll vertically. It's supposed to be only a small bonus room, like I did right here. So it cannot scroll vertically, just one square big, and it's optional, you don't have to have that, but you can do that if you want. As far as modes are concerned, everything goes, every block is available, you can use anything you want. The only real limit is the size limit. It can only be this big. Originally it was gonna be like one screen big because I figured we would do a contest where who can make the best one screen large uh, puzzle level but I figured I'd give a bit more leeway than that especially because some people really want to make long levels but uh, this is gonna be a test fire contest. I want to gauge interest, I want to gauge uh, talent, you know all of that stuff. So this is basically just a test and the prize is free publicity. In case you're wondering about the size limit, how you're going to get it right. Like, I'm going to make it super large right here. If you reset it using this, it automatically defaults to the maximum size, as seen right here. Okay? So if you're worried about the, your level size, well, before you start making your level, do a reset. Or just use the reset to gauge how big the level should be. And then undo it when you want to go back to your level edit thing. Okay? So that's the one rule about levels you make for this contest. The maximum length is this much. It's fine if your level only takes like 10 seconds to beat. That's how Mario levels are supposed to go after all. But even with a level of this size, it, it's not impossible to make it last really long, you know? Anyway, as far as submitting your level, you might notice that when you upload your level online, it gets an ID. Just gonna point it out right here. Contest line 1 1. My level's ID is right down there. Now, if you want to keep things basic, you can send an email to me, whitehawk underscore reborn at hotmail.com, with just this ID, if you want to keep things simple. But you also need to have on the subject line SMMC1S, which is short for Super Mario Maker Contest. One submission. If you don't have that on the subject line, then I won't like I won't see your submission. However, the 
better way to send your level submission to me is by using the Super Mario Maker uh, bookmark website because there's full links that you can provide to me in your email right there. And it's more convenient that way for all the judges. But as I said, it's fine if you just send me the ID because, well, it just means I have to put it up on the Super Mario Maker bookmark website myself and I'll copy the link myself, you know? But it'd be very convenient if you gave me the link right away in your submission. Only one submission per contestant and deadline is November 19th, 2016. If you're watching this video after that date, don't bother trying to participate in the contest. I won't look at your submission. I won't even see it, in fact, because it'll go directly to my junk folder. On the more technical side, judges have not been decided yet. They'll only be uh, chosen after I get all of the levels, so after the deadline. And... I will try to get impartial judges, but I cannot guarantee anything. In almost all contests I've seen, judges tend to judge their own way, you know? But that's fine. We're going to have multiple judges, so putting all their opinions together should make for an impartial view, maybe? Maybe. Um, the scoring sheet for this contest. 50 points will be awarded for fun. 20 points for creativity, another 20 points for difficulty, like if it's just right, and 10 points for atmosphere, so like making a level that's all about entering a temple, how well you sold that atmosphere, you know? But as I said, 50 points for just fun, that means this contest is all about fun, don't, don't stress it out. You have two weeks to submit your level, and that's plenty of time for a level that small. Take your time making the best possible level you can make. Because I will only be showcasing the higher scoring levels in all of the contests I hold. Assuming I'll be doing any more contests after this. Oh, and one last thing. Judges will be under no obligation to finish your level if it's too hard for them. They, like, they might, they'll, they're obligated to at least try it once, of course. But if it's too difficult or if they cannot get, like, complete the level... They don't have to finish it to judge it. Uh, on the flip side, automatic levels are immediately disqualified. Sorry. And I think that's about it. So just a short recap. It must be sent to us before November 19, 2016. It must be the default level size or smaller. Can have a one square large underground room. Judges, no obligation to finish your level. So mind your level's difficulty. No automatic levels allowed. Scoring sheet, 50 points for fun, creativity and difficulty, 20 points each, atmosphere, 10 points. I will only be playing the higher scoring levels. And to send your submission, whitehawk underscore reborn at hotmail.com. It must contain SMMC1S on the subject line. And it must contain a Super Mario Maker bookmark link or ID. All right. If there are any other technical things you need to know, then check the description or the comment section. I might answer some comments if there's something specific someone wants to know. But overall, I feel it's a fairly simple and straightforward contest. Hopefully. Anyway, hopefully we'll all have a nice time doing this. And if not, well, it's going to be a learning experience at the very least. Hope you all have a nice day. Bye-bye.